volcanoes, and mountains capable of spectacular eruptions. When they erupt, molten lava forces its way to the surface, spilling out into the surrounding areas. The stereotypical volcano ejects gases, ash, and lava, all in one big explosion. However, not all volcanoes are like this. Some volcanoes produce extremely slow-moving lava flows, while some produce huge explosions of hot air and gases. Two examples are Mount St. Helens, the volcano in the west of Washington state that produced one of the most spectacular eruptions of the 20th century, and Mauna Loa, the biggest volcano in the world located in the Hawaiian Islands. They seem to be polar opposites, however, there are some similarities. The origins of both volcanoes are the same. Tectonic plates are massive pieces of the Earth's upper crust or mantle. Though you may not feel them, they are constantly in motion, floating on top of the magma inside the Earth. They are moved by the heating and cooling of the magma, called convection currents. As the magma heats up, it rises towards the mantle. The further it gets away from the heat source, the cooler it gets. As the magma cools down, it sinks, creating circular-like currents moving the plate like a conveyor belt. The plates can collide, rub against each other, pull away from each other, and slide above and below each other. Though the structures that create these two volcanoes are the same, their positions and movements are very different. The Hawaiian Islands are made by a hot spot in the magma. The extra hot rock rises through the crust, making the islands. As the tectonic plates move along, the islands are formed in different places. The Mount St. Helens is a perfect example of a subduction zone. As one plate slides beneath the other, it melts. The molten rock rises up, putting pressure on the plate above it, making volcanoes such as Mount St. Helens. There is a big size difference between these two volcanoes. Mauna Loa is 4,196 metres high, 120 kilometres long, and 103 kilometres wide. It, its name literally means Long Mountain, and takes up most of Hawaii. Today, Mount St. Helens is only 2,458 metres high. However, before the 1980 eruption, it stood 2,950 metres tall. Another tiny volcano is forming inside the shell of the old one, and last erupted July 10, 2008. Mauna Loa is the perfect example of a basaltic shield volcano, while Mount St. Helens is a stratovolcano. The two mountains both have had major eruptions, however only two eruptions are being compared. Mount St. Helens' most major eruption was undoubtedly in 1980. After remaining dormant for over a hundred years, the mountains started erupting again. The precursors to the eruption were obvious, one month of constant eruptions from March 27 to April 22. There were eruptions every hour, resulting in a 400 meter wide crater and a huge bulge on the north flank. On May 18, an unprovoked 5.1 magnitude earthquake removed the bulge on the northern flank, resulting in the biggest landslide in history. The volume of the landslide was approximately 2.5 kilometers cubed one million Olympic swimming pools. This instantly depressurized the mountain, causing it to explode. The blast destroyed 500 kilometers squared of land and covered land as far away as 27 kilometers with mud and debris. 57 people were killed, making the eruption of 1980 the most deadly and economically destructive volcanic event in the history of the United States. Mauna Loa's major eruption was very different. It occurred in 1980 after being dormant for nine years, and unlike Mount St. Helens, there were no immediate precursors to the eruption. Slightest hint of volcanic activity came just a couple of hours before the eruption. Small tremors shook the island, becoming so large that the telescopes on another island couldn't be stabilised. At 1.30am, villagers could see a red glow at the top of the mountain. This started an eruption that continued for 20 days, a lot longer than Mount St. Helens. The flows killed no one, but came within a few kilometres of the town of Hilo. In comparison, these two volcanoes are very different. Firstly, there is a massive size difference. Mauna Loa is 4,196 metres high, 120 kilometres long, 
and 103 kilometers wide. Today, Mount St. Helens is only 2,548 meters high. However, before the 1980 eruption, it stood 2,950 meters tall. Secondly, they are different types of volcano. Moana Loa is a basaltic shield volcano, while Mount St. Helens is a stratovolcano. Thirdly, they are up different materials, gases, even different types of lava with different mineral contents. The slow-moving basalt lava of Mauna Loa is made up out of almost half silica and is usually rich in iron and magnesium, while the pyroclastic flows of Mount St. Helens are high in density, made up of hot, dry rock fragments and gases. Mount St. Helens erupted great plumes of ash and debris, while Mauna Loa spewed slow-moving lava with no debris and very minimal gases. Fourthly, Mount St. Helens' eruption in 1980 was a deadly one, killing 57 people, while Mauna Loa killed no one. Even if the flows had reached high-low, people still could have escaped it. Last of all, the tectonic plates beneath the two volcanoes are moving in different ways. Mount St. Helens is above a subduction zone, while Mauna Loa is above a hotspot. One produced the most deadly and economically destructive volcanic event in U.S. history, while the other one is the biggest volcano in the world. Both prime examples of the destructive power of volcanoes and the many different packages it can come in.